Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 80th session today and uh, today let's take a look at creating our first data validation rule inside of Excel. Now again, I'm still on the sort and filter worksheet over here and it's within the Excel 1 or 2 uh, exercise file. Now why, what I would like to do here is I want to create a drop down list, a little pick list when users are entering the make value within these records i want to give them a specific list of uh, makes that they can choose from right so ford chevy pontiac Oldsmobile. give them just those values that way we are not getting extra stuff inside that doesn't belong and uh, we are getting properly spelled as long as we spell it correctly then anybody that uses the drop down will get the proper result as well so our first step to applying data validation is we have to select the cells that we are going to apply the validation to right so our first step i'm just going to click up inside of cell b4 and i'm going to go down and i'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and i'm going to press b30 so now that's the range of cells that i want to apply the data validation to we could grab the entire column but if you imagine this list getting hundreds or thousands of records large then we want to accommodate for that so you can you can accommodate for the complete column but we would highlight that range of cells just for demonstration purpose so i'm just going to grab b4 to b30 and there's the cell i'm going to apply to uh, once that's highlighted i'm going to go to my data tab top at the top of my screen and on the data tab towards the right you have the data tools within there we have got data validation I'm going to go ahead and get that lower half of the button a click you'll find that there's a handful of options in here uh, the first one being data validation I'll give that a click all right inside my data validation window we have got three tabs settings input message and error alert we are going to ignore the input and error alert for right now we'll come back to those here in just a little bit we are going to focus on the settings tab right now now on the settings tab it currently says that the validation criteria will allow any value right we know that uh, you can jump into cells b4 to b30 and you can type whatever you want in there excel doesn't care right that that could be numbers that could be misspelled items that could be whatever we want at this point excel allows that but we want to control it right so instead of any value i'm going to click on the drop down we get a list of validation criteria settings to choose from uh, now the first one we are going to take a look at here is a combo box a little pick list a drop down menu so there's an option in there for a list let's give that a click and once i select the list there i then get the source option that opens up for me this is where you are going to create your list now inside of here i'm going to type in essentially the mix that i want the user to pick from i'm gonna say ford comma chevy comma and i'm just going to continue to create this list uh, separating each value by comma so ford comma chevy comma let's see what else we got uh, pontiac let's make sure i spelled it right then oldsmobile make sure I spelled out right and what else we have uh, we have Dodge all right so confirming that I spell them all right we don't want to misspell it here because this is what everybody is going to be using so Ford Chevy Pontiac Oldsmobile Dodge all right we are looking good there I'm going to go ahead and hit OK so now remember I have B4 to B30 selected if I go into any one of those cells I have now got a little drop down arrow uh, I click on that drop down and it gives me the list of uh, makes that I have defined just like that so now as somebody enters a new record uh, let's see if we get a new ID here I'm going to say uh, 50 
I'll drop one in and uh, get a little drop down there. I'll grab uh, one of these values of Ford and then I can continue to fill this out. Let's see uh, what's the model for Ford here. Festiva. Make sure I spell that one right and so on. So continue to fill out that record but a nice little drop down to assist our users and filling out the records. Now I do want to point out something in some regions. Uh, now you, you recall here I, I got B4 to B30 just like that again go to my data tab data tools data validation so I'll go back into data validation and here's my list uh, here I'm using commas to separate the values right in some reasons you won't use a comma you will use a semicolon now if you use a comma and it's not proper for your reason when uh, you go to the little drop down instead of individual list items that you can pick from it will just be one long list so at that point you know just uh, reselect uh, b4 to b30 go to the data tab go to the data tools data validation and just change it from commas to semicolons instead so try this out get in there highlight the group of cells i just did b4 to b30 then data data validation create your list and set up your values there so try that out and then we'll take a look at some more settings here Thanks for watching this tutorial and as I always say if you really liked it and enjoying this journey then please do like share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel. Alright then we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of this video. So see you in the next session till then stay safe have a great life and take very good care of yourself.